Hello, Noswetha, Chris Akinas, E. Gweminar, E. Webinar, and a Devnid of Gurfeotega, Gi Govluna Project, Sev Arwain DGC, Sev Arwain at Devnid Gurfeotega, Kavrivo, Chris Akinas, a warm welcome to for this evening's webinar on uh, the Arwain Project, which is a new project on um, the reducing the need of uh, need to use antimicrobials on farm. Um, we've got a, a few uh, guest speakers to join us this evening. Um, I'll just give a few more minutes before I introduce everybody. Um, there's, we're expecting over 30 people joining us this evening. There's about 20 already joined us so far. So we'll just give a few minutes for everybody to join. So then in school draws three days ago, Bobby and Minani Hena, Manaikan with the Fasilidema, Marni Vera Dalim Divin in Slobach, so then he just read you Vinni Dai e Poka Kavla e Minavane. Do you man an abrus to it? Heno, my no son Bachita, Ita or the Guir, Ersanais Gual Pau, Winnebu Winneb, my heavy and brave, but after that, I think we're just really. I'm joining here from Abrus with this evening. Uh, it will be nice to see face to face. It's quite a, a fresh evening here. Um, so it's quite nice to be at home as well um, and have a cup of tea once, we, once we're done in an hour or so. Okay then, I think we'll make a start. The numbers have, um, have plateaued now. Um, as I said, we, we're around about 30 uh, joining us uh, this evening. Um, some of the speakers this evening, including myself, will be presenting in Welsh. Um, there is a translation facility. So if you're working on an iPad, if you just make a screen live and look at the um, globe, an interpretation and then select the language you have. I think there's only two languages to select from, which is Welsh or English. Um, so if you make a selection there and Heaven Jones, our translator this evening, will be presenting in English when, uh, when myself and some of the others will be presenting in Welsh. So we'll just give you a second to sort that out. Um, also, if you are having problems with the interpretation um, and also if you've got any questions as we go along, please ask. Um, throughout the evening, um, I'll be chairing the session and I'll be asking the panelists as we go along. Alternatively, we can ask questions right at the, uh, right at the very end. So I'll try, try to keep an eye out on the on the chat, on the Q&A, um, but please, uh, we want to answer questions that you're particularly interested in. That's the whole idea of the evening, really. We don't want to be talking at you. We'd rather be talking with you for the evening. So, as I said, uh, Chris Akinas, a warm welcome to you all. Um, this is the NOV, the Dewey Hills, uh, the Entreal Air Project, near with Arwain DGC, so Arwain and Devnid Gurthriotek Kavrival. Um, our project with the Kachwin, er Smith Meti, and the Mlaini Miss Mehevi in Duvila at Direct Tree. So I'm going to just trust Ruth and Hannah, um, are all our, our project, to the project Kafroi Sound in the middle. I'm going to need Dim, um, Letle Kumri, and Arwain Araguayth. So in um, in our way, it's your project, Heno. Um, I'm going to aim and I go through now. Er, um, uh, just a pre with Gareva, er, a project. Well, we're going to go there. Er, a project in the Um, I'm going to then Elan, and uh, Elan Davis and me now. We i Glero. We're going to Gareva. It's going to be a fermid. I drill it. I'm going to a fermid. I'm going to fly. I'm going to fly. It's going to be a new offer. Man, I'll go in. I'm going to fly. Well, to the new Westliner. Um, I have a Gwen Gwen Rees, um, I'm going to pre record Gan Gwen Rees. Um, he's the Arwen at a Gwaith and a previous scholar, but a Swift, they are after an meal with a girth. I'm here, me, the Glero, I'm a Gwaith main for the meal with a gun. Heavy with the need for Lewis or Welsh Lamb and Beef, so the Mig of Luna, a Gwaith or Gasclet data, data Gurthotek are firm with a Pamor Buisig at Dina, Elbin Gasslin, and the Fitting Hinan. Yn i'r diwydiant, a hefyd bod yn bod ni'n gallu rydw i'r gwybodaeth yna i cwsmeriad fel mae'r angen ac fel dyn ni'n dall yna fwy o fwy o angen yn ni'n ddifod yn hynna. A lle hefyd gyflwyno owain, owain pyw, sef yr er, er, swyddog datblygu cyswyd ffermio. So, os gynnwch chi unrhyw gwest yna, hefyd i owain yn un o cyswyd ffermio, mae croeswch chi um, i reid hynna yn y chat a na ni'n gora i'w atab nhw. Felly, so, na'i bwrw mlaen hefo rheir sleid sgynna i. Um, os na'i rhyw gweithio allan, fel bod ni'n gallu... ...cyflwyn yma iawn i chi.
Mae'n ei reit ta. So, mi ddwi e bod gynnau chi uh, sgrin mawr o'n wedi dod drwydd, os gael thumbs up cyn un o'r un o'r unig olen ar y panel, diolch ti alan. Os oedd ni'n ffwrdd â ni, felly, na ni um, yw gyflwyno bach sydyn ynglyn ag yr gwaith. So, ar wain DGC, ar wain ar y defnydd gwrthfiotig cyfrifol, ac yn y Saesneg Leading on Responsible Antimicrobial yw. So, dyna ti'r bwriad really just i ar wain ar y defnydd gorau hwnnw. Dim yw stopi ddefnyddi fo, of course, mae angen i ddefnyddi fo ble mae'r angen, ond dim ond pen mae'r angen, ac y bwriad ydy trio sgoi i'r angen. So, mae'n ac yn un nifer o partneriaid allweddol i'r ydag yr gweithgareddau i gyd, ac partneriaid efo dipyn o brofiad, yn yw falch iawn o ddweud. Um, so, dyn ni'n cydweithio efo gwendri, so prifysgol a brystwyth, um, o'r adran miwfyddygaeth, a byddai hi'n arwain ar y gwaith o'r miwfyddygon. Um, Rydym hefo'n gweithio efo Kristin uh, Ryder o prifysgol Briste, yn nhw'n arwain ar profion ar ffermid i dasglu data EMR. Uh, fel fi'n sôn hefyd, mae gennym ni iechyd da sydd yn arwain ar casglu data'r ffermydd. Um, gyda Welsh Roman Beef sydd yn arwain ar hynna, a mae iechyd da sef yn partneriad Milwyddygaeth yn De Cymru, yn rhaid y cefnogaeth Milwyddygaeth, a fydd wrth gwrs yn uh, Milwyddygon yn gogledd Cymru, a mae mentor busnaf sef y cwm ni dwi'n gweithio i yn arwain ac yn cydlynu'r prosiect yn ei gyfandrwydd. Ydyn nhw bwriad yr cynllun ydy i i lleihau'r defnydd neu'r angen i ddefnyddio gwrthfioteg. So'r bwriad ydy bod ni'n rhaid um, dilliau mewn i lle, fel bod ni yn um, gwella iechyd yn ei ddiliad, fel bod ddim angen gwrthfioteg. So dyna ydy'r bwriad, prevention, prevention is better than cure, fel mae'n ddi yr ffres mae pobl i bod yn ddefnyddio. So dyna ydy'r bwriad, bod ni'n osgoi yr angen o ddefnyddio gwrthfioteg ac yn sicr trwy osgoi y blanci treatment. Um, yn gyfan gwbl lle mae'r phosib. So Pam, dyn ni angen y math yma weithgareddau. Hefyd gael ei ymddiheiro, mae'n sleid i'n Saesneg, ond dwi'n siarad yn Gymraeg, a weithio fe hynna ddim yn um, ymdrysu chi. Um, so Pam, mae angen y ffasiwn brosiect. Um, Dwi'n siŵr bod chi gyd wedi bod ni'n gyfarwydd bellach hefo yr uh, risg sydd yna i ym, uh, ymwrthedd i gwrthfioteg. Um, mae'n ystadegau diweddar yn, yn nodi bod 50 mil o bobl yn marw yn yr unadolaethau ac yn Ewrop bob blwyddyn o'r ddymwrthedd i gwrthfioteg. Ac os ydy yr patrwm yn amparhau, yn y degawdau nesaf bydd gwrthfioteg ddim yn gweithio a fysa ni'n dol i'r dac ages o bytau o defnydd o gwrthfioteg neu o ran um, iechyd pobl. A dwi'n siŵr bod yna sawl ddim ni wedi ymuno heno yn gyfarwydd fo bobl sydd wedi defnyddio gwrthfioteg yn y flwyddyn dweitha a heb ddo fo, dwi'n siŵr fydd y canlyniad i bod yn hollol wahanol, yn sicr mae gennau wladau'r teulu sydd wedi dibynnu yn y blynydd o dweitha. So, bwriad y prosiect um, i ddiw reid cyngor ac help i ffermwyr, uh, cadwyr cyffylau a hefyd i miwfylygon i lehau'r defnydd o gwrthfioteg. Rydyn ni'n cynnig hyfforddiant trwy dechnoleg, casglu gwybodaeth, ac trwy greid y wybodaeth o bod ni'n gallu cynllunio ymlaen hefyd. So, rydyn ni'n uh, reid cyngor neu cymorth i mi wyddygon i osod safonau ychol o prescripts gynnu, o reid, reid prescriptions, yn hawdd yn y Saesneg, i reid yr uh, cyngor neu mi wyddygon um, hefyd, rydyn ni'n mynd i reid gwybodaeth i ffermwyr ac sydd i ddefnyddio technoleg i leihau'r defnydd, Mae Elan yn mynd i glir a fwyr hynna, so na ddim dwi'n ddaran. Um, hefyd, casglu data ar nifer y fawr o ffermydd ar y defnydd o gwrthfioteg, fel bod ni'n gallu cynllunio ar y cyngor penodol yr hynna, um, a hefyd wrth gwrs fel bod ni'n gallu rhoi dy data yna a gallu amddiffyn y diwydiant os oes angen. Rydym hefyd yn, yn edrych i fewn i'r ymwrthedd o gwrthfioteg yn yr ymgylchedd, hynny yw sbiar ffermydd i weld so ymwrthedd a gwrthfioteg mewn tail, felly sample tail ar ffermydd godro, eidion a defaid i weld y bedr ysfyllfa ymwrthedd na dros gyfnod o flwyddyn i weld um, bedr, bedr patrymau. Hefyd, fel rydyn ni'n heno, fydden ni'n reid gwybodaeth dros oedd i'r diwydiant, fel bod nhw ddydd ddall yn well, a sydd i lehau'r defnydd a'r pwysigrydd o lehau'r defnydd yna. Wedyn dwi'n gymandredu'n bach o um, 
ddarlun o pwys sy'n gwneud be a abrystwydd fod yn sôn yn datblygu ar yr rhwydwaith o miwfyddygon sy'n gallu rydyg cyngor. Uh, hefyd maen nhw'n parod hoi yr cyngor na i miwfyddygon fel maen nhw'n goll, gosod y safonau a chael a hefyd ydych chi fiawn i'r ochr uh, cadwyr ceffylau o sut mae'r gwrthiodd yn cael ei ddefnyddio yn y sector yna. Mae wel allan yn bydd yn monetrio uh, yr ffermydd trwy cynlluniau nhw a fydd uh, llyr neu glir y mwyn yn ymlaen â hynna yn yr ymlaen a cydweithio'n agos iawn efo'r miwfyddygon, so mi fydd um, fel rhan o'r ffam isiwrant fydd hynna yn cael ei data na'n cael ei casg, casglu ac hefyd bydd ar yr syndromig data o yr defnydd o gwrthfau oteg. Bristol fel yn un sôn yn casglu ac yn arwain ar cydlynu o gasglu data i ffordd y ffermydd i weld sydd mae uh, o sosa ymwrthydd sydd mae hynna yn gallu dylanwadu ar ffermydd a sydd allan ni atal hynna. Um, ac wrth gwrs bydd ar yr ochr surveillance hefyd, so wrth casglu'r data ydyn ni hefyd yn trio gweld sydd ydyn ni'n ni gallu creu'r patryma mwyaf um, mwya clir fel bod ni'n gallu rydyn ni'n cyngor gora phosib ar y data yma ac hyd yma dyw di data yna ddim ar gael, so mae'n allweddol bod yr y data yma hyn o ni i'r diwydiant. A wedi ni fel mentor y busnes, ydyn ni'n treialu defnydd o dechnoleg ar deuddeg ffarm ar draws Cymru, ydyn ni'n broses o y pwyntiau hynna. Ni hefyd yn rhoi cyngor i cadw'r ceffylau sydd, uh, sydd i ddefnyddio llai o gwrthiotig a cadw i'w ceffylau yn iach a hefyd trosglwyddo'r wybodaeth draw i'r diwydiant. Mae i chi da yn rhoi dy cymorth nhw fyddygon i ni a hefyd defnyddio technoleg with a app ar y ffôn fel bod ni'n gallu defnyddio hwnna uh, i gwella bi oedd ei gylwch ar y ffermydd uh, a reid cyngor i ffermydd yna. So, gobeithio fi gynnu dull ar diwedd y project fel bod ffermydd gallu defnyddio um, yn y rhyw ffôn symudol. Mae'r cynllun wedi'w ymrwymo i strategaeth, mae'r llywodraeth Cymru wedi'w baratoi strategaeth pum lynedd i, i asgoi ag um, drwy'r lleihau yr uh, ymwrthedd i gwrthfoi oteg. Um, a dyn ni yn, dyn ni'n gweithio yn agos hyd ar diwydiant a efo'r llywodraeth Cymru sicrhau bod ni'n cyd fynd hefo'r efo efo cynllun yna. So dyna di'r um, sleid o las gyna i. Uh, so na i stopio rhan eich o yn rhan. Na chi na i dwi'n sbio sa'r gwestiwn na dwi'n dwi'n draw. Na, sy'n mynd eto, dim ond eich um, anog, mae croeso chi reid gwestiwn eich drwyddo ni, a ni'n ni'n gorau i'w ataf nhw fel dyn ni'n mynd ymlaen. So felly, allai i gyflwyno chi'n um, i'r siaradwyr gwaedd cyntaf yno, so, Elan Davis, uh, mae hi ydy yw'r swyddog technegol i de Cymru ar gyfer y prosiect Arwain DGC. So, Elan, diolch o ar iawn ti, dros ydy ti. Diolch o'r iawn, Dewi. Noswyth a iawn i chi gyd. Am ddys yn lle gael yn sgrin i i rhannu'n iawn. Na ni. Iawn, diolch yfor iawn, Dewi, a ie, yeah, noswedd a iawn i chi gyd. Um, diolch yfor iawn am gymryd amser maswch noswedd chi i ymuno dan i hyn o, a i glywed mwy am y prosiect. Fel nath Dewi Sôn, yn enw i Ewelan Davis, a dwi'n mynd i fo'n gweithio fel swyddog technegol y prosiect i de Cymru ar gyfer uh, Arwain DGC, a, a ran mentor y busnes. A fi'n mynd i roi trosolwg uh, bras cyflym iawn i chi hyn o, ar rhan o'n gwaith ni, um, byddwn ni'n canol bwyntio arno, sef defnyddio technoleg neu syniadau arloesol ar ffermydd er mwyn lleihau'r angen am gyffuriau gwrthfau crobaidd. Felly, just i roi bach o gydestyn i chi pan bod um, technoleg neu syniadau arloesol yn bwysig yn yr er, uh, uh, bwriad yn erbyn, yn y frwydr yn erbyn antimicrobial resistance neu AMR, um, Wel, mae technoleg yn amlwg yn gallu caniatau monitro anifeiliad am 24 awr y dydd saith dydd yr wythnos. Um, yn amlwg mae ffermwyr yn gweithio'n galed iawn a mae'n anodd iawn iddo nhw monitro anifeiliad um, bob dydd trwy'r dydd. Felly, na ble byddai technoleg yn, yn camu mewn ac yn wneud y gwaith na drosto nhw. Um, ac yn gallu arsylwi iechyd anifeiliad a monitro lles anifeiliad yn fanwl gywir hefyd. Fi ceri mae'r gair na yn fanwl gywir yn yn bwysig iawn hefyd. Felly wedyn yn arwain mlaen i dargedu trinaethau uh, penodol i osgoi trinaethau gwrthfau crobaidd 
di angen. A jyst i ddarllen yr, yr dyfyniad mar yr ochr, um, neu ddarllen yn Saesneg, 490 dairy farmers said that using technology led to higher milk production values being achieved. This was linked to increased efficiency, but importantly, the ability to monitor disease and treat animals in a targeted manner to reduce milk yield losses. Now, in Amlug, uh, a sector that we have in Benodol, our governor and we have a private bureau in Dvinyadna and in Bethnasol, our governor uh, sector am with the FGID and now with the private bureau to develop the technology ma, but the um, the ability to monitor disease and treat animals in a targeted manner. But in now with the private bureau in Guaithni, uh, Troy Arwine DGC within. Felly beth bydd yn cael ei wneud, um, fel rhan o'n gwaith ni, fel wedi dewi, fyddwn ni'n gweithio gyda deuddeg ferm prawf o gysyniad ni'n galw nhw neu proof of concept i dreialu technolegau gwahanol neu syniadau arloesol gyda'r bwriad o leihau defnydd o gwrthfeu crofau. Um, fel na dewi sôn hefyd, ni yn y broses o recruiter deuddeg ferm hyn ar hyn o bryd, uh, ni'n gobeithio cadarnhau'r fermwyr yn yr wythnos neu ddwy nesa. Um, bydd rhein yn deuddeg ferm ar draws Cymru yn gymysgeth o ffermydd llaeth, bief a defed. Felly, jyst i sôn um, pa fath o dechnolegau sydd mas yna, um, mae nhw, mae'r dechnolegau yn cael ei, ei rhoi mewn i sectorau gwahanol, um, sef video analysis, uh, thermal imaging, accelerometer-based sensors, felly mae'r rhein yn cynnwys y coleri neu'r tags neu'r um, pedometers, allwch chi rhoi ar coeser anifeiliad, neu bolus, uh, fel rwm yn bolus is, uh, hefyd, um, neu falle rhai sydd ddim yn cael ei defnyddio cwaith mor aml yw rhywbeth fel y nia infrared technologies. Nawr yn amlwg, um, fel mae'r lot o chi eisiau fod yn ymwybodol, mae'r technolegau yma yn lot, lot fwy cyffredin yn y sector llath, yn anffodus uh, na'r sector beef ac yn enwedig yn y sector ddeved, uh, sy'n dangos falle bod potensial i dyfu technolegau yma yn y sectorau hynny. Um, felly, sy'n wneud yn gwaith ni bach yn anoddach i ffeindio technolegau pwrpasol a priodol ar gyfer y sector defed yn benodol, ond y bief falle hefyd, um, ond gobeithio bod digon o sgop mas yna i ni wneud rhywbeth diddorol a gwahanol a newydd ar y ffermydd yma, felly deuddeg o ffermydd, pedwar ffarm modro, pedwar ffarm bief a pedwar ffarm defed i gyd yn canolbwyntio ar technolegau um, neu syniadau arloesol newydd. Felly nesa, o'n i'n meddwl yn ddweithio ni jyst rhedeg trwy cwpwl o esiamplau i chi. Um, falle bod rhai o chi yn gyfarwydd gyda'r technolegau sy'n mas yna, falle rhai o chi um, bach yn llai gyfarwydd dda nhw. Felly, na'i jyst rhedeg trwy gwahanol esiamplau sydd mas yna. Felly, yn gyntaf, um, mae cat lai dda ni sydd yn technoleg sy'n um, monit technoleg monitro sophistigedig i ganfod arwyddion cynnar, cynnar o afiechyd. A fi'n cerdi... Na beth sydd yn um, berthnasol rhwng y technolegau yma gyd yw y canfod arwyddion cynnar nawr a fiechyd, falle cyn bod nhw'n dangos unrhyw symptomau o gwbl. Um, felly mae cat lai yn gweithio trwy um, camras yn y siediau gwartheg, um, a maen nhw'n adnabod gwartheg unigol, a maen nhw'n gallu um, monitro mobility scoring a body condition scoring gwartheg, a maen nhw'n gallu... Um, trwy defnyddio algorithms gwahanol. Maen nhw'n gallu defnyddio um, pigo newidiadau yn y mobility score um, gwahanol uh, warthig a wedyn gobeithio canfod arwydd cynnar o glofni ar enghraifft neu unrhyw afiechyd penodol. Yn amlwg fel nes i sôn, dim ond ar gyfer gwerthu gwartheg godro mae'r dechnoleg yma ar gael ar hyn o bryd, ond eto falle bod hwn yn dangos bod potensial i, I ddatblygu fe ar gyfer y sector beef neu sector defed. Yr ail esiampl wedyn yw esiampl o uh, accelerometers. Um, fel nes i sôn, mae rhein yn gallu dod mewn ffyrdd gwahanol iawn o goleri, tags, cool, um, pedometers rhwng coeser, gwartheg neu rwm yn bolus hefyd. Um, felly yn syml, sym system monitro a rheoli iechyd a nifeiliad yw rhein hefyd. Mae nhw'n asesu newidiadau mewn ymddygiad unigolyn. Felly os maen nhw'n bitha llai, bitha mwy, symud mwy, um, maen nhw'n digo lan y newidiadau bach na hynny gallai fod yn arwydd o bod rhywbeth ddim cweith yn iawn. Y trydydd y siampl wedyn sydd anu yw thermal imaging. 
Um, Bi'n credu bod potensial mor iawn gyda uh, dechnoleg ma i ddeplygu ar hyd y sectorau. Um, mae Erthigl Mynen o'r Farmers Weekly yn esbonio bod thermal imaging wedi lleihau y defnydd o antibiotics ar uh, ferm beef trwy bod yn pigolan gwres uh, yn ynghorff yr anifel. Um, falle byddai, by, fel wedi si gynnau, byddai um, cyn bod nhw'n dangos unrhyw fath o symptomau o afiechyd, felly crofni neu mastitis, felly pigor symptomau yn alan yn lot gynt um, na byddai ffarmwr falle yn gallu gweld y symptomau. A jyst i dangos bod potensial i symud y technoleg o un sector i'r llall, bydd yn credu wrth allan yr ethical hyn, um, camera ar gyfer y sector gyffylle um, yw'r camera penodol hyn, ond bod y ffarmwr wedi gweld yn rhyw sioe a meddwl falle bod yn ddefnyddio le ddyfei, ddefnyddio ar ei ffarmau. So mae'n dangos bod potensial i ddefnyddio'r technoleg yma ar y wahanol sectorau, so gobeithio bod hwnna yn dangos, um, yn dangos bach o potensial i ni ar gyfer y prosiect hyn. A wedyn i'r um, sector defed yn benodol falle bod hwn bach mwy perthnasol, um, mae'r term i'r rhein ynnwch chi falle sydd ddim yn yn mwy bodol, mae'r term antimicrobials yn cynnwys antibiotics, yr antivirals a'r antifungal sydd falle ddim o'r gyffredin, ond hefyd yr antilmintic sef yr, yr wormers a'r ach dosins chi. Um, so mae hwn yn dechnoleg byddai yn, yn bendant yn, um, yn arloesol ac yn, yn lleihau y defnydd, y gor ddefnydd na o antilmintic. Um, felly byddai'r byddai drensgen hyn yn cysylltu gyda'r way skills ac yn cael y breitro'r ddrill yn benodol i, i wneud yn siŵr bod yr anifel hynny yn cael gwmws yr er, er, lefel o ddos sy'n gyfateb gyda'u pwysau penodol nhw um, sydd fel nes i wneud yn, yn lleihau yr er er chans o um, doso llai neu doso mwy o um, beth sydd angen ar, unigo, ar anifel unigol um, yn amlwg. Mae gor ddefnydd o, o um, y dosis hyn yn gallu arwen at antimicrobial resistance, felly unrhyw beth um, sy'n gallu arwen at defnyddio llai yn nhw neu yr targeted treatment yna yn mynd i uh, wella. A wedyn y pumed y siampl sydd afi yw uh, y cwmni Pruex, mae Pruex yn cwmni arloesol iawn um, sydd yn ei taglau nhw yw prudent use of antibiotics, um, felly maen nhw yn i rhein â chi falle sydd ddim mor gyfarwydd gyda'r cwmni. Maen nhw'n defnyddio'r bacteria da mewn pridd um, ac yn, yn tyfu'r bacteria yna ac yn ei chwystrellu fe dros ardaloedd fel sheds gwartheg neu sheds wyna um, neu rhoi fe'n y systemau dŵr a wedyn gyda'r bwriad o ymladd yn erbyn y bacteria gwael sy'n achosi yr afiechyd. Um, felly maen rhywbeth arloesol iawn sy'n gobeithio gallwn ni uh, i rhoi fe yn implement o fe ar ffermydd, gwartheg, godro, beef a y uh, sector defed hefyd. So hwnna yn opsiwn arall. So just y siample yw rhe yna a ni yn y broses fel yn ei gweud o recrwydio'r ffermydd ar hyn o bryd. A wedyn mae po, pwy dechnoleg ni'n mynd i ddefnyddio neu pwy afiechydon ni'n mynd i dargedu i gyd y mynd i ddod yn dibynnol ar y deuddeg ffermd ni'n dewis i gweithio gyda nhw. Felly, um, mae'r afiechydon fel wedi si, yeah, i gyd yn dibynnu ar y ffermd benodol na, os oes pro, pro, problem benodol da nhw um, gyda rhyw afiechyd neu, neu gilydd. Ond um, yr afiechydon hyn i ni yn rhagweld neu ni'n, bod ni'n meddwl fydd ein prif ffocws neu gyda'r prosiect hyn. Um, ni'n meddwl mae'r afiechydon hyn bydd prif rhai sy'n achosi problem i ffermwyr Cymru um, o fewn y sectorau gwahanol a um, ni'n gobeithio wedyn trwy fynd i'r afael ar afiechydon cyffredin hyn bydd y gwaith prosiect ni'n wneud yn, yn fwy cyffredin ac yn fwy perthnasol i ffermwyr Cymru. A wedyn jyst i, I orffen trwy um, dangos rhai astudiaethau athchos i chi lle mae um, implemento technoleg ar y ffermydd yma wedi bod o fydd um, mewn, y mewn modd o defnyddio llai o, o gwrth ficrobaidd a gwrth biotics. Um, felly, ar ddygle Farmers Weekly yw'r rhein eto on how mastitis detection tech helps reduce antibiotics use. A wedyn Smart e Tag offers early detection of pneumonia. Mae'r tags mewn lloi yn enwedig yn boblogaidd i um, detecto the, the early detection of pneumonia. A wedyn mae'n ffermd trawsgoed yn Prifysgol Abrystwyth hefyd yn, yn um, 
astudiaeth achos da iawn maen nhw wedi wneud newidiadau mawr ar hyd y blynyddoedd. Um, maen nhw wedi rhoi um, automatic car feeders mewn a ers newid i'r system bwydo'r llawn automatic hyn, maen um, rhoi alert i'r ffarmwr os yw llaw yn signo neu yn bwydo llawn yr arfer um, eto maen nhw'n i'r, i'r syniad yno o um, newid mewn, mewn agwedd, newid mewn, um, mewn uh, behaviour uh, penodol i, i golyn, um, a wedyn sy'n golygu gall y ffarmwr i, i fynd i'r afael ar anifel na yn gynt, a maen nhw trwy'n neud y newidiadau hyn, maen nhw wedi cael gwared o'i achosion niwmonia nhw bron yn gyfan gwbl. A wedyn ar y ddefn hyn, wel chi um, y siampl o um, dechnoleg yn y sector defed, felly'n amlwg mae'r ymchwil yn cael ei wneud, mae'r mae gwaith yn cael ei wneud mas na, yn anffordu sy'n gwaith ni, falle bod ddim yr y gwaith um, mewn wedi ddysblygu digon, fel bod yr er, er enghraifft yr rhai tebu y tags yma ar gael i ni gael prynu nhw um, ar gyfer defnyddio nhw ar y ffarm. So maen nhw mewn lle ble maen nhw'n wneud yr ymchwil, felly gobeithio mewn blynyddau i ddod bydd y sector um, sector David yn, yn dal a lan gyda'r sectorau eraill. Felly yn fras, um, na'n gwaith ni, felly fel nad ewi a fi sôn, ni yn y broses o recrwtio'r ffermydd ar hyn o bryd a dod i wybod pwy dechnolegau sy'n mas na, um, ond os, os, unrhyw, um, os chi eisiau unrhyw mwy o wybodaeth, neu os chi eisiau cysylltu dy fi yn union gyrchol, mae croeso eich i wneud, um, neu cerwch chi'n gwefan ni ar wain DGC, um, a neu os oes unrhyw gwestiynau dych chi byddai'n pwy na hapus i ateb neu treial ateb nhw heno. Diolch yn fwr iawn i chi. Diolch yn fwr iawn i chi. am cyflwyno'r prosiect ar gwythgareddau sgyn nhw i'r ffermydd i'n adbyn falch o fyd, mae gen ni am bethau gwestiwn i'r drodd. Um, so rhwng ffyn i gobeithio allan nhw ateb nhw. Um, os bydd yna nia, um, mae gen ti cwblo gwestiwn yma. Um, sydd byddwch chi'n gwneud yn siŵr bod chi ddim yn ail wneud gwaith ymchwil sydd barod wedi i'w gwneud? Um, Elan, ti eisiau dechrau atop hwnna? Mae yna i ychwanegu merch le? Um, ie, yeah, cwestiwn da, ie, yeah, byddai ni ni fod yn ofalus iawn bod ni ddim yn, yn ail wneud gwaith ymchwil sydd wedi gen i wneud yn amlwg ni'n ni cael ein um, arian neu trwy R&D funding dar um, uh, llywodraeth, felly byddwn ni'n ofalus iawn bod ni ddim yn ail wneud unrhyw waith byli. Ac, ie, yeah, sicr, um, ond um, ar ddangos technoleg ar ffermydd ydy hwn, so oedd hi'n dewis deuddeg ffarm yn am, amlwg ar y ffermydd yna, fydd o newydd, siwr o fod, ar y ffermydd yna i drealu'r technoleg yma. Dyn ni hefyd, um, dim ymchwil ydy o, os allai, allai fod yn blaen, dim ymchwil ydy'r gwaith yma, ond ar ddangos, um, ac y bwrdd ydy ar ddangos technoleg sydd ar gael, So mae'r angen i'r technoleg yna fod ar gael i'r diwydiant fel bod nhw'n gallu treialu, so'r bwriad ydy bod nhw'n treialu yn y technoleg a gweld sydd mewn gweithio o ran y defnydd gwrthau oteg wedi nhw'n gobeithio fydd y diwydiant yn ymwneud teisio hynna, um, gobeithio bod hynna'n atop y gwestiwn di ni a ag'r ail un. Um, os na ffos i byddai cynnyrch fel Prwex yn gallu cuddio problemau helendid neu falle problemau rheolaeth sydd ar y ffarm, yna gwestiwn arbennig o dda ddi gwir a falle Dyna'n union mae defnydd o gwrthfioteg yn wneud, so mae gwr, defnydd o gwrthfioteg yn gallu um, cuddio problemau sy'n ymbarodd mae'n rhei bod yn galw fod fel cretch i helyntid sal. So, byddai ni'n sicrhau bod ni yn ysgoi hynna um, a fel unrhyw brosiect yma bod Prwex yn gallu um, gwneud um, um, back, to, back to counts, back to cell counts ar y ffermydd i weld bydd i'r lefel o um, bacteria yna yn ymbarodd felly Um, mae gen sicr mae'r hanol prosiect neu'r hanol gwaith i alan ydy sicrhau bod yr elendid mechel ar y ffarm. Sori, Ioan. Yeah, a falle dylan ni'n wedi sôn, byddwn ni'n gweithio'n agos iawn dy mil feddygon um, lleol y ffermydd fynd. So gobeithio cael cyfarfod i ddechrau, i gael gweld beth i'r sefyllfa i ddechrau, i gael neu siŵr bod ni gyd ar yr un dudalen cyn dechrau, sy'n gobeithio um, bod ni'n mynd i'r afael a unrhyw broblemau um, rheoli, rheolaeth neu rhywbeth i ddechrau a wedyn dod mewn ar technoleg yma um, i obeithio mynd â ni gam ymhellach. A dwi'n meddwl, ond ddyletswydd yn ei hefyd i, i ddangos gweithgareddau cyffredinol a chi'n neud ar ffermd i wella helendid um, yn cynnwys, sicrhau bod yr, yr ŵyn yn cael clostrum neu lloi yn cael clostrum iawn ar dechrau bywyd nhw, mewn beth allweddol i leihau problemau iechyd. Wrth gwrs, ac so fydden ni yn trio integreiddio 
that low tech and a gun with high tech here on your project of Ethio, uh, so we're Han or with Gareb. Uh, with Ethan, I'll accept the question again here. Um, uh, Tom and Hwaneki, um, uh, so we're going to do the vaccine. I'm all purpose of Ethio, Yatel Clofni, Devide, and Arbed, Milad. No, I'm not going to go to the next one. I'm 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 going to go to the next one. A viechid was a bit of a issue target and an anfodis are in no breed, Nimos with Spellis, Sim Lotto, Option Net, Noleg, Penodal, or Gal, um, on Velnis Dangos and their ethical farmers weekly, now was a board, Gwytham Quill, the Doral and Calumnade, um, so go with the Nablin of the Dod, be Rubeth and 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 Dod. Hey, great. So, in question about um, Ola Elan came Bunny Sumo Line and Shadow Nissa. Heather, good evening. Nice for you to join us. Um, you've got a question about the cost involved in the technologies. Quite rightly so, yes, we will be looking at the value of the project and also the um, return on investment as well. So we'll be making sure that that is part of the programme, that we're getting the value back. Yeah, yeah I, I think with any technologies, I think the return on investment and the um, ease of using them and the um, work that's involved with the day-to-day -day running of the technologies, it all has to be monitored or else it's not going to be beneficial for the farmer if it if it costs a lot or if it's a lot of work. Um, so everything like that will be monitored to make sure that all all um, all the information we put out there at the end is is fair for the farmers yet yeah, to see the return on investment really. Yeah, so we'll be putting the cards on the table and uh, disclosing exactly how much we spend on, on the technologies and then the returns on investment. So hopefully the, it'll answer itself. And uh, yeah, that's that's part of what we are trying to achieve, really. Okay, dear Khoverian, then you will be at the question and So thanks very much. We now uh, will introduce a pre-record from Gwen uh, Gwen Rees, who is the uh, uh, veterinary uh, lead at Aberystwyth University, and she will be also leading on the work of uh, veterinary prescribing champions, so working with vets across Wales. Diolch, we'll hand you over to Gwen now. Diolch. Kind of hoping this pre-record will, will will work and it should stream effectively for everybody. Hello, Chris. So welcome. My name is Dr. Gwen Rees. I am lecturer in veterinary science at Aberystwyth University, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about Arwine Vet Cymru and the work that we do here at Aberystwyth University and how that fits into Arwine DGC and into the wider program that you are learning about today and also why it's important to you and why you should care. So first, a bit of background on Arwine Vet Cymru um, and how that relates to the new project that we are talking about today. So Arwine Vet Cymru has been going since 2019. It was an RDP funded project through Welsh Government. And like I say, we started in 2019 and it recently finished in June of this year. As part of this collaborative project, which is a project between um, several of the same partners that are involved in Arwine DGC, um, I worked on developing a network of veterinary prescribing champions. So this led to some of the ideas behind our Wine DGC. It really was the start of doing something about antibiotic use in Wales. It was the start of looking to improve and, and promote antimicrobial stewardship in Welsh agriculture from the veterinary perspective. So. The fact that we had this project and that we built some foundations enabled us to then create our own DGC and the project that we're talking to you about today. Um, 
the project was very successful and I'll talk to you a little bit about what was involved, but we won the Royal College of Veterinary Surgeons Impact Award for having a significant impact on animal health and the veterinary profession at large this year in 2021. So that was um, a nice award ceremony to go to and it's just testament to the hard work that went into our Rhine Vet Cymru. And it really is a vet focused um, part of the project. And the work that I'm going to be doing in this new project is going to remain vet focused. But I still think that it's very important for everybody to be aware of what's happening, what the vets are doing and how hard they're working to improve things. So we know that Wales has approximately 50 veterinary practices who undertake any significant amount of farm animal work. So cattle and sheep was the main focus. And we knew that all our members of either Yechida or Meal for the Gongoglev Cymru through Mentor of Business, because they are the veterinary delivery partners for Wales. So involved in the TB testing, but increasingly the veterinary delivery partners have a much wider remit for animal health in Wales. Um, Welsh Government have an anim animal health and welfare framework group and an AMR delivery group who published a five-year AMR plan back in 2019 and two of the things that they highlighted in this plan that they wanted to focus on in the next five years were improving the standards of antibiotic selection and prescribing and improving the standards of antibiotic supply. So for these two points, we really needed to focus on the veterinary profession because it's the vets who are choosing which antibiotic to prescribe and doing the prescribing and supplying of those antibiotics. So it's not just on the farmers to um, improve and reduce antibiotic use. The vets really had a lot of work and a lot of input that was needed to improve in these areas as well, which is where we focused on in the initial part of our own vet Cymru and where we're going to continue to focus on in the work that we do at Aberystwyth University as part of this project. So what have we done so far? Well, the point of our own vet Cymru was to develop a national collaborative network of highly motivated and trained vets. We invited one vet from each farm or mixed practice in Wales to become members of our own vet Cymru and to nominate a responsible veterinary prescribing champion who would be the practice as prescribing lead. So they'd be in charge of antibiotic prescribing in their practice. They would be taking the lead for their practice, but they would also represent their practice on our network. They would attend an advanced series of, well, an advanced training program and a series of workshops aimed at improving responsible antimicrobial use. And we asked them to develop and implement at least one, what we call bespoke antimicrobial stewardship intervention. So essentially make at least one change in your practice that is specific to the needs of your practice and your farmers that improves antibiotic use. So far, our Rhine Vet Cymru has produced a series of policy recommendations um, which laid out what it is that Welsh farm vets need from policymakers, be that Welsh government, um, policymakers at the wider UK level. Welsh farm vets feel that they have specific needs and um, they laid out through a sort of quite intensive workshop a series of policy recommendations that have been published. We have created bespoke antibiotic action plans for each practice. So each prescribing champion was responsible for coming up with an action plan for their practice specific to the needs of their vets, the needs of their clients and the needs of the practice as a whole. And over 75 percent now of all Welsh farm practices are actively improving their antibiotic use because they are implementing their action plans as part of Arrowine Vet Cymru. We've also met, so the prescribing champions have also met with um, Professor Christian Glossop and Dr Gavin Watkins, the Chief Veterinary Officer and Deputy Chief Veterinary Officer for Wales. So we have an ongoing dialogue with Welsh Government to discuss what it is that Welsh farm vets need from them. So that's what we've done so far. The next steps in this particular project 
Um, one of the key next steps is to maintain this network. So we've worked very hard. We've got a really highly motivated team of vets who are highly trained as well and want to make these changes and have taken charge of prescribing in their practice. So the key thing is to maintain that network and to develop it further. So we want to enroll new practices. We want to find and target those practices who didn't enroll the first time round for various reasons to do with COVID and lockdown and workforce problems. We want to invite them now to become part of this network. We need to train new veterinary prescribing champions as, um, as we enrol new practices. We need to have continued training. So the existing prescribing champions, we want to continue to train them and maintain this network. We're going to do that through ongoing discussion groups, communications, lots of ongoing training and CPD events. The next thing that our veterinary prescribing champions are going to be doing is a really key thing that they have been asking for in the first iteration of our own vet Cymru. Um, and it's developing a series of clinical guidelines for vets to use when they are making prescribing decisions. So what we're going to do is to set up a working group made up of our veterinary prescribing champions. So a certain number of them who have an interest in this will come together and we'll work to come up with a list of key diseases in cattle and sheep that they feel they would really benefit and their practice would benefit from having some prescribing guidelines that they can refer to when they have decisions to make about which antibiotics to use. And we really want these clinical guidelines to be voluntary. They're not going to be enforced in any way. They are there to help with decision making and we want to co-develop them. So we want this to be led by the vets who are going to be using them. We don't want to just say, right, this is what you now have to do. We want the vets to work with us and we will work again with key stakeholders and we will use a lot of the available evidence. We'll be doing lots and lots of evidence reviews of what does and doesn't work. But we're also really interested in the real world experience of the vets, because there's no point saying that you have to do this or you can't do that if it doesn't work in reality. So what we're going to do, like I say, is to develop a series of clinical guidelines that will be available nationally to all Welsh veterinary practices. And they can use that to help guide their decision making and help make responsible antimicrobial decisions. And the other key area that we're going to be working on is developing a voluntary code of prescribing conduct between Welsh veterinary practices who do farm work. So this will be made up of a separate working group, again, comprised of the veterinary prescribing champions and again, consulting a lot with the evidence and a lot with other key stakeholders in the area. And the point of this is to try and improve prescribing across Welsh veterinary practices in a coordinated way. So vets can be a bit worried that if their practice suddenly becomes very good at you know, restricting certain antimicrobials that are unnecessary or making these big changes, there is a worry that perhaps clients will go to another practice who aren't implementing similar changes. So the point of this code of conduct is that we try and get profession led improvements where there's open communication between practices practices sign up and agree to certain terms, to certain ways of prescribing. Perhaps that's going to be by referring to clinical guidelines or it's difficult to say exactly what's going to be part of it because we want the vet practices themselves to design this code of conduct. But what we want them to do is to work together to create change. And it's a difficult environment. Veterinary practices are all different individual businesses, but we need to all be working together if we're going to have any kind of change across the whole of Wales. So I would urge you as farmers to see the added value of being with a practice who signs up to these voluntary codes of conduct, because it means that you're with a really forward thinking practice who is doing things correctly and um, with the evidence base to back up their prescribing decisions. So why is this important to you? Well, we know that antibiotic resistance is a global problem. It's the whole point of having World Antimicrobial Awareness Week, European Antimicrobial Awareness Day. We know that this is a huge global problem, both in animal health and for human health. And despite the fact that perhaps the UK isn't the worst of the countries in the world, and perhaps as 
UK farmers, UK vets were doing actually quite a lot already. We still all need to do our part and nobody is exempt from needing to improve on their use of antibiotics. And we know actually that Wales, when it comes to veterinary prescribing, and partly due to our own vet Cymru, we're currently really leading the way with antimicrobial stewardship in cattle and sheep. And I think that is going to become increasingly important to the industry and to the sector in general. If we can show that the sort of meat and milk that we produce in Wales is an, amongst the most responsible of antibiotic users, then that is only ever going to add value to our products. We also know that responsible antibiotic use is likely to feature in new agriculture bills and in new payment models that are coming out. So it does it is really in all of our interests to really focus on this area going forward. And what is it that you can do? Well, I think the first thing that you can do is to find out who the veterinary prescribing champion is at your practice. Next time you see your vet, ask who the practice champion is. And if they haven't got one, ask why? Because I think the added pressure or peer pressure, I guess, from farmers asking who, you, who is your vet prescribing champion is going to help us to recruit those last practices who haven't been on board so far. Ask if your practice is going to get involved in designing this code of conduct and these prescribing guidelines. Ask them why not if they're not. And if they are, this is your opportunity to feed into that. So let them know what it is that you would like to see from this code of conduct. Is there anything that you think veterinary practices could be doing better when it comes to prescribing and dispensing their medicines to you? Now is the time to tell them. And again, if you are interested in reducing your antimicrobial use on your farm and introducing benchmarking perhaps or any other interventions, then your practice's veterinary prescribing champion is going to be your best person to speak to. So it's really good for you to know who that person is and to know who the key contact at that practice is. And I would really urge you to support the practice in their efforts on this because they are working very hard and putting in a lot of hours um, improving their antibiotic use. And it would be nice for them to get the support of their clients in doing that. If you have any questions about the veterinary prescribing champions element of this project, you can either speak to your practice's prescribing champion or you can email me at gwr15 at aber.ac.uk and I'll let you know the answer if I possibly can. Although she can't hear us, uh, that was a record. So thanks very much, Gwen, for preparing that. Um, I'm going to attempt to answer some of the questions. Um, good evening, Maddie. Uh, the first question, um, how will you know if your vet uh, practice has signed up? As Gwen said, ask them. And if they have, great, they should have. There's already there's already 30 of the main large animal vet practices across Wales with a VPC. Um, and we'll be escalating that to 50 in the next uh, next few months. Um, Mardi, knowing that you come from the Aberystwyth area, if the Ystwyth is your veterinary practice, it's Kate O'Sullivan or Harry Williams is the VPC there. So um, yeah, we already have a list of, of, of those that have signed up. Um, also, we've got a, a question. Um, did you identify any barriers when recruiting vet champions vets to engage with the project? Um, I'll, I'll, again, I'll try to answer on Gwen's behalf because Mental Business was delivering it uh, through uh, through the vets in, in North Wales. Um, there was inevitably some, some scepticism, but the idea isn't to stop the use of anti antibiotics, is to provide the support on how to reduce the use and to, to reduce the need of it. So, yeah, there was probably scepticism and um, there was some explaining to do there. Um, and if you'd like, I'll ask those questions and get back to you um, with further information on that. Um, another question on the chat. Um, uh, would uh, vets would need to explain and persuade farmers that a more targeted antibiotic will still save animals' lives if supplying a different um, antibiotic? Absolutely right. So um, um, uh, culture and sensitivity testing is something that we will be encouraging, particularly in the equine sector, we'll be providing um, clinics to support with that. So undertaking 
sampling of those animals to seeing exactly what antibiotic is, is best so making sure we're using the right bullet for the right, um, right treatment if you like so absolutely yeah. so providing that support to the vets so that they are able to uh, guide their clients in the right direction okay that's the only questions that we've come through for, for Gwen uh, thanks so much for those Arwain at Sharatur Olani Manoson, Sir Clear Lewis, or Welsh Lamb and Beef Producers. Um, Clear, Chris O'Kanas, um, the Mabotin Trani, the screen, even in our. Matty Clear, I think Cluadet Cluateta. Oh, right there. Can you hear me now? Hmm. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? No. Can you hear me now? 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 Can you hear me Okay. 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 So yeah, yeah. So I'm Sir Lewis, and I work for the Welsh Lamb and Beef Producers. So um, yeah, so I'm here tonight just to um, explain to you what we do as part of the project. And basically, our main remit for this project is the data collection of it all. So um, I'll just um, run through a few slides with you. So um, the. Um, so, so yeah. So what was yes? Yeah, so what are the challenges for the industry? So it was, it was it was mainly highlighted when the only report was uh, brought out in 2016, and that was a review on the antimicrobial resistance, and that was the review on on all industries. And um, agric agriculture um, uh, saw this as a, as a, as, a, as a problem, and bodies such as Rumor were brought in then to set targets for the industry. So so yeah, so AMR is a challenge for to the industry. And um, it's 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 uh, it's uh, it's um, AMR is being used to, to, to discourage meat consumption. Uh, the meat supply chain is it, it does require a response to AMR. Um, beef and lamb, as, as an industry or a supply chain, is is um, is hampered by its lack of data, and um, this 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 does affect its uh, support support the claim that we have low low use. Uh, the dairy sector is actually in a worse position because it's, it's it's perceived as a higher use of antibiotics, although the data in the dairy sector is is is, is there's more data in the dairy sector than the beef and lamb sector. Pork and poultry generally are are high users, but they have more data and um, they they have more data across the last four years, and they can they can demonstrate a a reduction of antibiotics within their own sectors. And then, and then finally, this is you know the opportunity here. If we have enough data, is to present a positive image of Welsh farming. And um, so what? Yeah. So Welsh Lamb and Beef solution to this. So when when back in 2016 and 2017, when we when we saw that this could be an issue, we we um, got our heads together and then we thought, what's the best way to, to tackle this? And we've we've come up with an idea. We've developed an idea which is we base database and a calculator. This 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 um, description sales data, which is based in the best practice. Um, it can use BCMS cattle data, so we can draw in cattle data into the into the calculator, including the age, time on farm, and the breed. Um, and then it uses, it uses an algorithm then in the background to measure. The, the antibiotic uh, usage on on that farm or per per enterprise of that farm, and then it can be presented then in a standardised way, um, uh, which is which is um, set out by by the Chorg and Shorg, which is the cattle health welfare um, group and a sheep health welfare group, um, and it's uh, set in milligrams per kilograms of 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 animals. Um, so yeah, and then and then the calculation then can be done um, with the vet during the foul health welfare review. 
So what data is generated from the calculator? So yeah, so the yeah, so the results um, that generated from the calculator will be shown in milligrams per, kilo, per, per kilograms. So it's the milligrams of antibiotics used um, divided by the kilograms of of the animal population on that farm. The calculator itself will be able to split the the enterprises up. So if you've got a beef and sheep farm, then you will have two enterprises. If you've got a beef, sheep, and dairy farm, then you have three enterprises. Um, and this, the data can be calculated for individual farms. Um, and then we will. It's possible then to generate a reporting then that um, that will be able to 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 be used by supply chains. It can be. We can generate a report um, in a geographical area and um, look at different types of farm, and we can benchmark then the antibiotics um, against similar sized farms to to to, uh, to the farm that you have. But the, but, the, but the important part of this is to provide industry with a much needed data, which which beef, which, which beef and sheep has got at the moment. But it's data which is in standardized form as well. Um, so the outcomes of this return of a farm to determine appropriate and responsible level of use of antibiotic use. Uh, I've got to stress that, you know, um, it might look like the farmer has to do a lot of work here, but you will be um, it's the, the use of this calculator can be done with a with a vet. So it's the vet that will be will be um, using the calculator. The farmer only has to engage with a vet. So there might be a few questions: How many sheep you've got on the farm? How many lambs have you got on the farm? Um, um, and some other questions. But the the actual calculation itself will be done by the vet practice. Uh, because they they are they are the holders of the antibiotics, um, but it did, yeah. So this allows for farm level monitoring of antibiotic use as benchmarking and national monitor, national monitor, monitoring for for benchmarking, and then we'll have industry targets, which is for, from rumor. Um, and we'll be looking at them, and we'll be uh, benchmarking individual farms against those. But as well as, as, well as that, we're benchmarking the, the, the whole of the Wales against that as well. But um, by doing it alongside the health and welfare review as well, um, you'll be able to uh, be able to have a, a, a really good discussion with your vet and informed um, um, targets which which can help um, which, can, which can help reduce any antibiotic uh, any antibiotic usage, um, and then this can contribute towards a, a sustainable production of animals and helping the environment. So what's next? Yeah, so the anti the, uh, the calculator is now live and it's, it's available for all large animal vet practices to use. Um, we have already set up. Um, nearly uh, 15 practices already, and they are using the calculator as we speak. Um, uh, so we, we will we will also continue installing the software into vet practices, which we haven't um, um, gone into yet. And um, as we say, the, 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 all, this is available for all, all, the, all, the, all the vets in Wales. Uh, we will be also provide training for all the vets and the vet staff, because um, the, the, the vet support staff are key here as well, because we see them as as um, as the core members within any vet practice, uh, we will we will create a new platform and a database that we are able to collect, analyze, and report data and take feedback for that. And um, uh, finally, we, we we encourage the vets and farmers um, to complete the calculation during the health and welfare review. That's the end of my slides. It was very very quick, but I'll be happy to take any questions there. Um, and it's really good to hear really that it doesn't involve a lot of work and the farmers shouldn't be intimidated with the amount of um, data you need to present and uh, I was lucky enough to see how that data is collected and yeah, it does seem extremely straightforward so yeah that's great news really for everyone. Um, there is a question uh, will the move from, uh, from B, uh, BCMS to EID affect the, the calculator? Um, so the, the calculation is done for the previous year. So for, for this year, we'll be looking at 2020 because we have to standardize the calculation by year by year. So, uh, we, so we're looking at really January to December. So um, the, the, the link to BCMS is done previously. 
So it won't affect anything that you're doing now. It can be imported in from BCMS, and that will look for, for any, any historic data. Um, and then the good thing about BCMS import is that it does calculate the when the animals have been on the farm and been off the farm. And that will give you a, a true and better calculation because it only calculates the weight of those animals for the period it's been on the farm. Where if you had to put, enter in the cattle numbers themselves, um, you know, you, you could be you could be overestimating or even underestimating. Um, and as for sheep, BID Cymru, well, there, there, there's no way of, 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 of importing any um, sheep from any database. So, so it's all, it, so, so we're totally relying there on asking the question to the farmer of how many sheep you have and how many lambs you have on the farm. Yeah, sir. Nia, I'll go next in. You got a second question, Nia? Will that have the time to use this calculator with farmers? They can be stretched for time between everything else they do. Imagine quality of the data would be very important for the calculator. Yeah. Good question. Yeah. So currently, vets are doing this already, but they're doing it on paper. So, so, so they're so they're they're, they're asking the support staff to print off the antibiotics they have on, on in the vet in, in the in the practice. Then they have to uh, get all those uh, antibiotics, work out the milligrams of, of, of weight of antibiotics, which is in that medicine. Then they have to calculate all that up. Then they have to ask the farmer to, to, to give us a population of animals, how many cattle, how many sheep. Then they're going to divide that by the, by the antibiotics, which will, give them the, which will give them the BCU score. So by the time they've done all that work, or the support staff have done all that work, the calculator, you know, you, you, they, they'll be able to calculate the antibiotics uh, for a farm within five minutes. So it sounds quicker than the, the paper base then. Um, <laughs> another question, how will you calculate the sheep numbers stroke usage? Will it be based on one time point over a 12 month period? So I guess there with um, increasing and decreasing number um, headage uh, throughout the year, when and how will you calculate those numbers? Yeah. So. Um, the metrics behind the calculations, it's a, it's a very simple one, really. It's, it's basically, it's any adult sheep, um, whether, that, whether that's rams, sheep, uh, ewe lambs, it's, they're all counted as 75 kilos. And these are, these are all metrics that have, been, that, that have been agreed by industry. And with the lambs, they're, they're, they're 20, it's 20 kilos, and that's irrelevant to whether it's a newborn lamb or a fat lamb. So um, yeah, that, that's a good question. So but with a, the chance to that is, is what is the highest number of population that, that, that's been on that farm for that year? So what is, how many adult sheep have you had on that farm at, at, at one point? So, you know, if that, that's a thousand, that's a thousand. And then the, for the lambs, the number of lambs that that farm has, has, has either lambed or, or, you know, has actually been produced on that farm. Okay, so it's a maximum number of lambs and ewes um, rather than a point in time. Okay, fab. Yes, sir. Um, we've heard some, some farmers already being asked by some of their processors uh, for this data already. So perhaps if you are able to print this information, clear and provide that to your processors or creameries or perhaps to the, to the customers, um, I, I assume that's, that's of a benefit. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Um... After the, when the calculation is done in the vet practice, then that's available for you to, to be printed off. Um, yeah, so the, the, you know, the vet can email that on to you. It's also, it'll also be on, available on the WLBP platform, which is also available for farmers to use. So if you're logged on there and your vet, and your, and your vet has done the calculation online, um, the, the, the AMU calculation or the reports will also appear on there which you can be used. So if you have got any supply chains which ask you for this information, you might get asked for them quite often or every quarterly or whenever, but uh, this, this, will, this, will, um, this will take that um, job um, of, of supplying them the antibiotics for you. And um, you, you, can give, you can give them it in a standardized way um, as a report and, and, and an antibiotic score. Dear one last question perhaps for me is, um, how secure and how anonymized is the data? So I assume nobody else can see anybody else's data. And when you do create a one report, it's all totally anonymized. Correct. Yeah. So it's totally anonymized. So the, the data is is only uh, between you and the vet. 
So when so when you go to have the, the calculations with a vet, it's only between you and and that and that's really the benefit of doing it with, a, with, or, or, with when you're doing the review is that where if if you have that calculation come out and you know it might be too high or too low or, or there might be a, a certain usage of, of antibiotics which 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 you don't want to use then that can be discussed during the review uh, point then and then that can be um, added on to the review and which you can refer back to again uh, as for the reporting uh, point is where we where WLBP uh, it's a, where the farm is cooperative, owned by members, owned by all fowl paying members. So basically, the data is owned by by farmers. Um, at no individual farms data will be used specifically for for all farms, but it will be used as an aggregated to to uh, to um, report back on on industry or to industry or to um, or, or to make claims that that. Um, we are using antibiotics in a responsible way. Great. Thank you very much. Um, that's bringing us to the end of our webinar this evening. Um, hopefully it's been of interest and uh, um, that uh, you will follow us, um, the progress of the project. And on that point, really, can I request that you um, have a look on our social media channels and following us there, um, particularly on uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. We've got those channels live, so please uh, please follow us. Um, particularly now, we've got a lot of content on there following the uh, World Antimicrobial Awareness Week, which we're in the middle of, coming to an end tomorrow. Um, so if you could follow us, that would be great. Also, we'll be at the Winter Fair. Um, we'll have some information on the Family Connect stand, as well as myself and some of the team members uh, attending the show. Oh, I've got one more question for you, sir, if that's okay. Sure. Um, uh, will this be linked to the medicine book? I assume that's AHDB's medicine book. Uh, if so, yeah, medicine book, we, we are in discussions with them. So um, Medicine Hub um, is in uh, is in AHTB, and they they are collecting data as for as for the UK industry. So if you, if um, so if you are engaged in in our calculator, then um, in the future there will be a possible of uploading up to the Medicine Book um, if you wish to do so. That is, so it, it's it's the farmer's permission to do that. If you decide that you want to do that, then. There will be a link there. It's not there yet, but um, we're looking at doing that. But it's the farm commission that we need to do that as well. Yeah. If so, so, your medicine book, if your actual medicine book, which is um, for your farm assurance, um, we, we we don't need it to be linked to the to your medicine book because we're looking at the prescribed data, which is comes from the vet practices. So there will be no need. However, if you're looking at for your own farmer um, antibiotic usage. Um, we're looking to create a new uh, feature in our farm records website, which is available to members. It's another plug. Um, if you want to use that, is that we could, um, there will be a way of, of um, generating your own farm usage by using the um, antibiotics that you enter into your own medicine book. Great, Dr. Uh, there are a few other questions, but I think we'll have to answer them over email. Uh, because we're slightly, slightly running over time now. So thank you very much. We've had some great questions and discussions. Uh, I really do hope that uh, you will follow the progress of, of the project. Um, there will be an evaluation or a questionnaire at the end of this event. So when you do log out, if you can uh, put your comments on there for Farming Connect, that'll be great. So yeah, if you could follow us on social media and we hope to see you at the, at the Winter Fair. Thanks ever so much for joining us this evening. We really do appreciate uh, your time. Um, thank you very much. Namaste. Thank you.